Did you know that medical error that includes nursing failure to rescue is now the third leading cause of death in the United States, resulting in over 250,000 deaths annually? Failure to rescue occurs when a patient has an adverse outcome and even dies following a life-threatening complication which could have been avoided if timely recognition and appropriate intervention by the bedside nurse and healthcare team had taken place. In order to think like a nurse, a student must be able to recognize signs of early clinical instability to be a superhero and save a life. Most patients do not just suddenly code and go straight into cardiac arrest. Visible patient deterioration occurs in most patients from 6 to 24 hours before cardiac arrest and happens most frequently on med surge units where nurse-patient ratios are high and clinical experience tends to be low because of a higher percentage of newer nurses. Routine vital signs must never be considered routine. Vital signs are the first to change and the following vital sign changes are clinical red flags that must be immediately recognized by the nurse. Respirations, abnormal respiratory rate, either too high or too low, but most often tachypnea is the problem. Decreasing O2 sat with increasing oxygen needs. Shortness of breath as a chief complaint at any time. Cardiac, elevated heart rate, reduced systolic blood pressure, and any complaint of chest pain. Other factors are abnormal temperature, usually too high, and neurologic changes and altered mental status. In one study, the three most common physiologic changes preceding cardiac arrest were abnormal breathing, abnormal pulse, and abnormal systolic blood pressure. But which vital sign is most vital? Though all vital signs are vital, which parameter do you think is the priority and earliest and most sensitive sign of an impending complication? Tachypnea, or an increase in respiratory rate. Though all vital sign parameters must be trended to think like a nurse and recognize a potential complication early, the respiratory rate must be noted accurately, recorded, and not guesstimated by the nurse. Ironically, respiratory rate is the most neglected vital sign, and in one study, only 14% of charts of patients who were transferred from the ICU to the ED had it recorded. And make sure you understand the physiologic why of each clinical red flag and assessment to ensure that your knowledge is being applied to the bedside and not just cookbook nursing looking at the numbers alone. As a nurse, embrace this responsibility that you literally hold a life in your hands. Do this and it becomes obvious that nursing is not about you and passing the test, but about being the best so you don't harm or even kill your patients. What did you learn and take away from this video? I'd love to know it. Post a comment and share it with others. Then like this video and share with someone who would care. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel to be the first in line to get fresh content that will help you be better prepared for practice and empower you to be a superhero in scrubs whose patients will have rock star outcomes.